Also breaking tonight, the couple convicted in an animal hoarding case out of Boulder City now facing charges in Las Vegas. Police arrested Carolyn Luke and Timothy Miller on suspicion of 14 counts of animal abuse. That couple has since been released on their own recognizance. News 3's Georgia Costa live at the Regional Justice Center with an update on today's hearing. Well, yeah, while it was a brief hearing, the court did find probable cause in relation to the 14 animal abuse charges. Both Timothy Miller and Carolyn Luke are currently facing. However, that judge did issue that release today until their next scheduled court appearance. Now that judge saying that she issued that release in relation to the state not being ready to file a criminal complaint on these animal abuse charges. And while the couple awaits their fates here, a Boulder City judge recently issued a suspended sentence with electronic monitoring for the two after they were arrested earlier this month by Boulder City Police for traveling with around a dozen deceased animals, including more than 50 guinea pigs and rabbits. Now, Nevada voters for animals president Gina Grayson, who alerted police of the hoarding incident and also helped lead Metro Police to the couple's Las Vegas home and West Valley hotel room, where detectives found about an additional 100 live and deceased animals says after today's hearing she's disappointed fearing the couple will reoffend and says she wants the court to place more restrictions and enhance their monitoring i would hope that if they are you know on whatever monitoring is going on that there is very active inspections of the property and um that they're getting you know that it's constant monitoring for them i would say that they would have to clean that house up and have Weekly inspections, we'd like to see cameras installed in the common areas of their house. Now, the court has given the state 120 days to file that criminal complaint. As for the couple, the court has issued them to stay out of trouble and not be in possession of any animals. Now, their next scheduled court appearance is set for August 22nd. But for now, reporting live at the Regional Justice Center, Georgia Costa News 3. All right, George, thank you so much for that report.